Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we are going to be decorating my home for spring and Easter. This is one of my favorite times to decorate. I love spring decor and Easter decor. It just makes my home feel so bright and fresh. Shoulders as long as I'm able the monsters under your bed Deep in the And funny enough, this is actually my second attempt at filming this video. I had shared over on my Instagram yesterday that I attempted to film this entire video and all of the footage somehow ended up being blurry. So I'm at it again today and I'm hoping that the second time is a charm. I wanted to go ahead and wipe everything down in here before I got started decorating my kitchen and just put any dishes away. And I decided I would bring out my tiered tray for Easter. I kind of put it away after fall and Christmas just because I got a little burnt out, but now I was really inspired by the little moss rabbits from the Target dollar spot to create kind of a rustic garden theme tiered tray for spring and Easter. All I need until my heart gives in, I will do everything I can for you. You will grow up in the blink of an eye and move. Now I'm adding a basket, crock, and spring greenery on top of my fridge. Ever since I started adding decor up here, whenever there isn't any, it just seems so plain. So I definitely wanted to go in and add some texture and pops of color up there. Deep and And instead of my usual seasonal floral or tree that I keep here by my sink, I decided to use this white wire basket from Hobby Lobby with some moss and these really cute wooden carrots that I found at Home Goods. I often get asked where I find my dish towels and almost always the answer is the Target dollar spot. I love grabbing some new dish towels for each season and I thought this little bunny with his cotton tail was so cute for Easter. One of my favorite Easter decor finds is this sign from Hobby Lobby. They also have it in kind of a tan color, but I really liked how the black just popped against all of the white that I have going on in my kitchen. And what I'm doing here is using a command hook and attaching it above my stove. It's a hard thing. I 
I decided to use some straw and these white wooden eggs to make a little nest inside my hanging scale. I'm not sure if this is more of a farmhouse look or a spring look, but either way, I thought it was a really cute touch. Can you love me? I saw Joanne's this pack of butterflies and the first time I filmed this video I used my hot glue gun to add them to pieces of my Ray Dunn pottery and also to my flower bar sign that I picked up from Kirkland's last year. I thought they would be such a perfect addition to my flower bar themed shelves. When he turns and walks away Yes, there he goes If you've been here a while, then you know I love to switch up the decor here for every season. And for spring, I love the fresh, bright feel of using my Ray Dunn collection. One of the reasons I started collecting Ray Dunn is it's so easy to go in and add different layers of colors and florals and texture in with it. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm adding some spring florals and greenery, as well as some Easter specific decor items. So there we go. I still just adore these simple DIY cloches from my early spring decorating video. If you haven't seen that one, I will make sure to link it down below and I show how I put these together as well as some other spring decorating ideas. I really love this centerpiece that I put together for spring. I think it's simple enough while still making a statement and transitions perfectly into Easter. How would be a waiting for you if you had to leave? How would wait a lifetime if you were at sea? I just wanna say So many of you tagged me in posts where you were able to find these bunny plates at Home Goods. I picked mine up last year and I was so happy they brought them back so you guys could pick them up as well. The 
next space I'm decorating is my hutch. Again, I have added some spring specific pieces in here, but now I'm going in and adding Easter decor to what I've already decorated. This is rare, and I wanna take you there. I picked up this watering can from the hearth and hand line at Target as well as these beautiful threshold blooms. I usually keep a basket and pillow in this area, but I love how this turned out for spring. I would give it all away to do it all again. Make a love a story that would never Funny story, I bought these ironstone pottery pieces online and I fully expected them to be full size vases and when they arrived they were these teeny tiny little things. Definitely not what I pictured but that's my bad for not looking at the measurements before I ordered them but I still think they're really cute and they will fit perfect in this short little shelf. The white wooden bunnies are from Hobby Lobby and they are another one of my top Easter finds for this season. I put them in so many different areas of my home when I was trying to figure out how I was going to decorate for Easter and they honestly looked so good everywhere I put them but ultimately I thought they looked the best over here and that they just popped against this dark wood cabinet. I'm sticking to my rustic garden theme to create a spring vignette for my living room table. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love you. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love you. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love you. If I'm gonna love somebody. I found this mini cabbage pick at Hobby Lobby and if you love this one, just wait until you see the one I'll be using to decorate on my entryway table later in this video. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I recently picked up these big cozy striped pillows from Target and I just love them. They are so comfortable and are so beautiful. They also come in blue, black, and tan. I believe that's everything. At least that's all that my Target had. And I think I'm going back for the tan color for my bedroom because they are just so cozy and so easy to decorate. And I love that you can do that fun little karate chop in them. It's such a cozy look. I'm not going to go in and redecorate my shelves or mantle for spring or Easter this year. I'm just adding some simple touches here and there because honestly the kids run this space and I just didn't think adding a ton of decor in here would be functional. I will put out all of the fire if it gets too dark.
The last area I'm decorating today is my entryway. Again, I'm going for that Peter Rabbit garden vibe for this space while also trying to keep it as functional for our family as possible. I switched out my wooden planter that usually holds this tree for this new crock that I just found at Tractor Supply. I really like that it came with a stand and I'll be using another crock also from Tractor Supply on the table to kind of balance them out. I really struggled with how to style the peg rail for spring before ultimately settling with the less is more approach. So I'm just using a handled basket from Target with some beautiful greenery that I found from Michaels and I think it looks just perfect. I've learned about myself that I tend to overcomplicate decorating sometimes. So when in doubt, I always go with the less is more approach and usually that's always the answer for my struggles. This little brown bunny is from Home Goods, and it really reminded me of Peter Rabbit so much. And I paired him with a basket of neutral eggs from Michaels and a white pitcher with florals from Hobby Lobby. And just to tie in the garden theme even more, I'm using a terrarium and this big cabbage pick that I found from Hobby Lobby. I thought this thing was so fun and also another crock from Tractor Supply. I really love how this space turned out, even though it took me a lot of trial and error to get it right. I find that if you are struggling with decorating a space, that it really helps to take a picture of it. For whatever reason, when you look at a space through a picture, you're easier to pinpoint balance issues, whether it be height, color, or texture. And ultimately for me, like I said, it was just too much in one space. So I took some away and that helped a lot. So that's just a tip. If you have an area in your home that you're struggling to decorate with, I highly recommend taking a picture of it and that will just kind of help you see it from a different lens and maybe give you some ideas as to what to do and what changes you need to make. Thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. I share decorating inspiration here on my channel every week as well as over on my Instagram and I would love to have you subscribe and follow along. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.